Ridgedale opens this week to get the party started. The retailers hosting it a gala, all to benefit Children's Hospital and Clinics of Minnesota and Pacer Center. The inspiration behind the big event is joining us in studio. Rocco, there he is with the red shades. One in every 4,000 babies is born with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. And that's when a baby's abdominal contents are moved into the thoracic cavity. Now, Rocco's parents, Eddie and Lindsay Reimer, knew they were in for a long road. The Midwest Fetal Care Center is the only advanced fetal care center in the upper Midwest, seeing uh -huh. about 15 to 20 of these cases each year. And on June 24th of last year, Rocco was born weighing, get this, a healthy 11 pounds, 3 ounces, and measuring at 20 four inches long. He was a big baby. And later that day, the doctors made the decision to put Rocco on ECMO. That's basically a heart and lung bypass machine for babies. Now Rocco has had to undergo numerous surgeries, more than any of us will really see in a lifetime. But after 88 days, he got to leave the hospital and then was finally discharged. But he did return 12 days later. So it's been a long road for the Rhymers. And joining us are Rocco's sister, Lucy, his parents, Eddie and Lindsay and Dr. Brad Feltis, uh, who's been here every step of the way. So Lindsay, I want to start with you and just how has Rocco recovered in the last year? The last year has been great. It's been almost a year since we've been home from the hospital and we've had a lot of, you know, follow ups and therapy appointments, but it's just been awesome to have him home and not knowing if we would even get there. So it's been a great last year. Now, Dr. Feltis, I know you specialize in preborn anomalies. So when you first saw this, how did you guys develop a plan? Well, we knew that uh, Rocco was going to have a very severe variant of diaphragmatic hernia, and so we had to put a very aggressive care plan in place involving the neonatologists, the ECMO specialists, the pediatric surgeons. We had to get all of this in place right away after Rocco was born because we knew that he was going to have a severe disease. So what does the road look like for him now she after Rocco. treating him? And I know he celebrated his first birthday. Fantastic. It's all roses. He's going to run, jump, laugh, play, do everything that his peers do. We're very, very excited about us. So Lindsay, I know when you got the news and Eddie, when you guys got the news, it, it was very difficult. I watched just kind of some of those first moments, seeing him for the first time. But when you celebrated his first birthday, what did that moment mean to you guys? And Eddie, you can go first. Yeah, well, first of all, we had great support. Um, it was kind of a rainy day, and I think we still had about two, 250 people show up. So um, it was a great kind of success story for Rocco and to see all the people that loved us and supported us. So it was a great day. I love that Rocco's saying hi to everyone this yes. morning. Hi, hi. Yeah. hi Rocco. Hi. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, now, why is it important to get the message out, Lindsay? Because I know this was something that you you guys both came out and spoke, uh, letting everyone know what Nordstrom was doing, and you wanted to share Rocco's story. We're just so thrilled with the care that hi. he received. Hi, honey. <laughs> with the care he received at uh, Midwest Fetal Care Center and Children's Hospital, and. We are just excited that other families will have an opportunity like we had and other babies will have a chance. Now, Dr. Peltis, this is a very unique type of hernia and your care center really specializes in this because I know the survival rate is a lot higher than other places around the country. Right, our program, our ECMO program, we have over 80% survival, almost 85% survival of this type of hernia on ECMO. Um, it's really remarkable the the work that the team's able to accomplish at Children's. So can you explain a little bit more about what ECMO is mm. and how uh, yeah. hard it can be on a young child? Yeah, well ECMO is a, it's, it's like a heart-lung bypass machine and uh, the patients need them, the babies need them because the blood pressure inside the lungs is so high with uh, this particular type of problem. And, and Rocco was uh, even more unusual is that he needed two separate ECMO runs. And so a uh, very risky, very rare, uh, but a very excellent outcome that we're really excited about. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming in. Rocco, thanks so much for coming in today. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Is your book, do you like your book? Good, okay. Mm -hmm. So Lindsay, Eddie, Lucy, thank you for joining us. Dr. Brad Feltis, thank you so much. And thank you for your care with Rocco as well. So if you're interested, the Nordstrom's Gala is 7 to 10 on Wednesday, and that is at Ridgedale Center. And Jason, I know you'll be there. Yep, Kim, too, I think, mm -hmm. is coming. I, uh, I just read on the website, it looks like it's sold out, it is. which is phenomenal. So that's great. Every ticket that's sold goes to benefit uh, the hospital and the Pacer Center. So fantastic. Rocco, how, how cute. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. We Hi. love it. We love it, buddy. Really good. Really He's good. He's the best.